Hello friends, uh, today I've got hold of a very beautiful book, okay, which is entitled In Sight of Loneliness, okay, Thoughts and Poetry. And it has been written by one of my friends, Mridul Majumdarsi, okay. And he happens to be a cinematographer by profession and he's been working um, as a video executive okay, at Igloo. And, uh, you know, in this book he deals with, you know, very beautiful phases of life, you know. He talks about stories, he talks about poetry, he also talks about, you can say, articles, you know, which are dealing with, you know, a beautiful, uh, lovely life, or our life, you know. And he deals with the theme of loneliness, okay. So we are very fortunate to have him, okay, here on this. So I would like to introduce him to all of you. Let us welcome Amrindul Ji, the author of the book. So Namaskar Amrindul Ji, and I'm really very very happy to uh, be with you here and uh, let us have a little bit conversation about the book, okay. So Amrindul Ji, uh, first of all, uh, please accept my congratulations, okay, for writing such a beautiful book, you know. And you know, I mean, I was just wondering, you know, how this the whole journey of writing this book occurred to you, man. So could you please, I mean, uh, throw a little bit light on you can say how this whole idea of writing this book, you know, come into your mind. Um, I had a very good habit of reading uh, books from my childhood. I frequently used to visit the district libraries uh, in our district and also from school, also having a small library and also I used to borrow books from my uh, friends during my uh, school days mm. and I like to read books mm. so later on uh, I did not know that uh, this reading habit will continue uh, further and it will be uh, useful for me in the process of survival in uh, later part of life. Mm -hmm. So that space of loneliness uh, during that phase of life, mm, I tried to replace in a better way mm, through my habit of reading and writing and that continued and finally uh, this book is the outcome of uh, that utilization of time in a positive direction. Uh, you talked about, you know, I mean, different phases of life. So I was just wondering, you know, I mean, uh, how would you, I mean, uh, talk about the different phases of life? Would you please elaborate or throw some light on different phases of life that you have brought in into this book? At different uh, age or phases of life, every person develops certain principles or may like to follow some guidelines. Suppose during my college days I used to follow certain guidelines as I found uh, in the many biography of great people and maybe as taught by our teachers in school and colleges. But later on in practical life when we try to follow all these guidelines we rarely get success because the world is not actually the same as we learn in our educational system or maybe in our brought up by our parents or within our family system when that thing you realize, when you become alone, maybe in my case, I came to Delhi, I became alone from away from my family. I had a important task to survive in this world without the help of my kin and family members. So that was a great task and every time, in every moment, your this past memories keep on uh, hitting you uh, and um, uh, there is space. So uh, during it, the, the whole day of work, uh, 
you may engage yourself uh, into your work. Right. But while you uh, uh, back home, mm -hmm. at the time, uh, at the time so I was staying alone. Yeah. So at the time, we, uh, at the time we did not have that much of resources. Suppose today we are doing mobile mm -hmm. and uh, also the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, even we don't have a landline telephone also. Only the uh, mode of communication at the time we had was only the letter uh, through the uh, post office. Even Korean service was also a, a rare thing. Mm. Uh, you know, I mean, you talked a lot about loneliness. So, what is your definition of loneliness? I mean, would you tell the readers about this whole concept of? Uh, actually, I don't want to go through the dictionary meaning of loneliness. I have my own perception towards the loneliness as I have felt in my practical life. I do believe that a person may feel lonely even he is surrounded with many people around him, known and maybe unknown. But even if a person grows up in a family, within the family members, in a working place or in any social setting, a person may feel lonely. That every person has got a desire to talk about the things about his own interest and many a times the person may not like to share something even with his own family members, even with parents he cannot, he or she cannot share, even with close friends also. But there are certain things actually uh, uh, God has might be created the world in such a way that Every person should live in his own world. Okay, so, I mean, that was wonderful really, but um, I mean, okay, it was lovely talking. So, thank you very much and all the best for the book. And I hope that this book would definitely benefit the readers and the readers would find it very interesting and they would enjoy loving it, okay? So, all the best for the books, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much.